Welcome everybody, my name is Diane McKendrick and I'm here on behalf of Anastasia tonight from Share Essential Inspiration and I'm really excited and honoured to be here to share with you um, some oil inspiration and some background on two of my favourite essential oils. So the two oils that we're doing today are black pepper and bergamot. So I might start with bergamot because it's one of my favourite oils. It is a citrus blend. And if you've got it there, I'd recommend that you run and grab it and just put a little drop on your hand, rub your hands together and breathe it in. Oh, absolutely divine. So I'll go through what you can use bergamot for because like I said, it's one of my favourite oils. And it's interesting because I quite often find myself saying that really regularly about a lot of the oils, but you probably all feel the same. Um, yeah, so many favourites. But bergamot is really good and, and used for so many things that I didn't realise. I knew when I first got it, bergamot in emotional sense is really great for self-acceptance. So this little baby gets a workout in my house, as you can see, like it's <laughs> right down to the bottom there. Um, so I use bergamot a lot. I put it on my hands, I diffuse it and emotionally, um, it's about those days where you're not feeling good enough and you've got that little internal voice in there saying, why didn't you do it this way? Or, um, oh, you know, do it. what are you doing that for? So I pull the bergamot out, I put it on my feet, I put it on my hands, I diffuse it. So it's a really beautiful citrusy blend. Um, the other thing, it's very versatile. So it's antibacterial, antifungal as well. And I didn't know that about bergamot, but it's really good because you can use bergamot in things like soap. Um, what else do I use it for? It neutralizes odors. So you can put it in a spray bottle with some water and a drop of fractionated coconut oil, which will help bind it just in a little glass spray bottle. And then you can use it for things like... Um, toilet spray or to spray smelly gym clothes or if you've got animals as well that sometimes particularly if it's wet or really hot outside the animals can get a little bit smelly so you can just spray it with some bergamot and just really uplifting and really refreshing and not only will it neutralize the odor you also get the therapeutic benefit of it so um, yes it is antibacterial it is antifungal um, what else do I use Oh, I was really surprised one day I was looking up a recipe to use for one of my workshops and make some hummus and I wanted to give it a bit of a zing and make it a little bit different to what everybody else does. Um, and I'd usually just put lemon in there and maybe lime depending on how I'm feeling in the day. But I looked up a recipe and it had bergamot in it. So I thought, oh, that's great. I'll put it in the hummus. It'll make it. It was bergamot and grapefruit actually. Um, yeah, so you could look that recipe up. And it was absolutely divine. And everybody was like, oh my gosh, this is so lovely. And I was like, yeah, bergamot and grapefruit. So very versatile. Um, and then while you're eating it, once again, you get the therapeutic benefit because once you, uh, you can smell it, it goes up through your olfactory system into your limbic system. Your limbic system is a part of your brain that's responsible for things like your heart rate, your blood pressure. So if it can sort of, you know, have that physiological effect on your body, it's helping us in so many different ways, not just emotionally, um, but also therapeutically as well. I've also used bergamot, there's, you know, for things like anxious feelings, if you're starting to feel quite heightened, a lot of that can stem back to the core issue or core value being um, uncertainty and not feeling good enough about yourself. So once again, pull this little baby out, put it on the soles of your feet um, what I quite often do is I put it in a little roller bottle mixed with a few of the other things that I intuitively picked for myself and my family. A little roller bottle, um, just dilute it with fractionated coconut oil and draw a big love heart on my chest. And then I just, you know, colour it in. So really beautiful that for that. And what I would love to do for you um, now is a little thing called an anchoring technique. So these oils, not only are they amazing to utilize in our body therapeutically. Um, really, really, really powerful thing to do is anchoring. So what happens to us in our daily life, and you can probably all um, know when this happens in your life, things happen and experiences happen in the past 
And what we do as humans, unless we're aware of it and we're enlightened and awakened and, and made a different choice or break the pattern, what will happen is an experience happens in the past as a memory and we live that forward. So it's called anchoring. So, for example, something's happened in your childhood or even yesterday. Something could have happened yesterday. And then what happens is we fire an anchor. That same thing happens enough. Your body reacts to it in a certain way. And then you go into a state, usually an unresourceful state if you're not aware of it. For example, you know, something's happened. It's created a bit of anxious feelings or it's created... Um, an anger state or an uncertain state or a not good enough state. So what we do with the Bergamo is we just get really clear about what we want more in our life and let's really focus on that and be direct and creative with how we want our life to be. So usually it'll take about half an hour to do this strategy, but what I'd love to do for you all today is just give you like two minutes um, and part of it is for you right now to anchor a really resourceful um, powerful state so that can be things like courage or confidence or love or whatever you feel like you want more in your life so we'll do it and it'll take about two minutes you will feel the power of it and then what will happen is every time you smell that like the experience it's going to fire and trigger things in your body and fire and ignite all these beautiful fresh neurons in your brain and it's going to put you without you even realizing into like the resourceful state so just take a second now and pick a state. So there's love, confidence, courage, um, whatever, clarity, whatever you want more in your life. I want you to pick that state. And if you've got your bergamo there, pick it up and smell it. So put some on your hands and smell it. Okay, so you've got your state now. You've smelt that beautiful smell and you can just feel it all tingling through your body. It's up in your limbic system. It's filtering down through your nervous system. You've got that state. I'm just going to use the word love for now. So what I want you to do is close your eyes and think of a time where you felt completely loved. So just go back through the memory bank and pick a time. And when you've accessed that moment, I just want you to be in it smelling the bergamot on your hands and I want you to imagine that I'm a magician because sometimes I am <laughs> and I've got like a remote control and I'm turning it up so if that that love state or that courage state is about a two or a three we're going to turn it up now to a four or a five and you're just going to feel that lift in your body and you're going to feel your heart full you know feel right up and then I'm just pressing the buttons on the remote and it's taking it up even more now to like a five or a six. And you can actually feel it coming in your body. The vibration is just so intense and so strong. We're going to take it up to like a seven or an eight. And now it's just like fully embodying you. Take it up to a nine. And then ask yourself, what do I need to take this to a 10? And just answer yourself. Let that, that wisdom and those wise words of yourself come in and drop into your head. Let it just escalate to a full 10. Smell that oil. And then take a nice big deep breath out. The exhale. Yeah, beautiful. So that's something that we call anchoring. And I do that with Bergamo a lot, being the oil of acceptance. So snapshots so many things that you can use it for you can diffuse it you can put it on your feet draw a love heart on your body use it with your kids put it in your cooking um, a real powerhouse so now i'm going to move on to black pepper so if you've got black pepper have a little bit of a whiff mm, not one of my favorites to smell um, and to be honest i haven't used it that much but black pepper is really really good in the emotional sense it's the oil of unmasking so what's happened emotionally for us through our lives is, again, as we're, we're children or growing up, we've been expected to act in a certain way or to get praise. We think we have to be a certain way. And then we make that our truth and we carry it forward. Black pepper can help. T we, you know, sometimes we wear masks to, um, you know, protect ourselves. But we need to ask ourselves as adults, are these masks serving me or are they holding me limited in in my belief of myself so what I do with the black pepper to help unmask myself if I feel like I'm going through that in my life um, I always dilute it because it is a spice um, 
and I can't remember who told me, it might have been Sam, she suggested to me putting it like on as a necklace, so just diluting it with coconut oil and rubbing it here. And just as I'm rubbing it here, going through that process of visualising, taking that mask off. You know, because that bit can be quite scary for a lot of people. And I know in my own experiences, you feel very raw and vulnerable. But, you know, this is expansion, this is growth, and we've got a team of beautiful people here to help us through it. So, yeah, the oil of unmasking. Um, what else is black pepper really good for? Obviously... Good in your cooking, so it's a spice. You can use it in your cooking. It's very potent and very powerful. You don't need much of it. The other thing it's really good for is it stimulates your digestive system. So all the research or a lot of research out there suggests that pretty much any physical illness is comes from a result of gut health, and that's the digestive tract and the digestive system because of the food society has been feeding us. It don't, well, it's not really food actually. Um, but what I find, if you're in a position or you're working with people in a position where you know a lot of stuff is coming from their gut health, but they're not in a position yet to shift and change and change, you know, go to a plant-based diet or whatever your belief is and make those really big changes, what I find with an oil like black pepper or all the oils actually is that you can use this to support the digestive tract and create the space for them to feel a little bit better to then make the other changes. So just think of it like that. Sometimes, um, yeah, it can be quite overwhelming because the oils open up such a range of emotions and possibilities for people. But if we can just think of it like that, use the oil, let the oil do the work. It will create the space to feel better, to make some other really core changes. Um, I actually use black pepper. I don't use much of it. But I have varicose veins on my legs left over from pregnancy. <laughs> Thank you, children. So what I'll do, most of the time they're fine and I find that they actually um, get worse when emotionally I've got stuff going on. But if, if they do seem to flare up, what I'll do is get it in um, a little bottle with helichrysum because it's really black pepper is really good for circulate, circulate. What's that word? Circulation, that's the one. So, yeah, it's really good for circulation. So I just mix it with the coconut oil. Um, and if I haven't got a roller bottle made up, I just drop it into my hands and just put it rubbing towards the heart. And it's one of those moments, seriously, you have to see to believe because they can be bulging and painful and sore. I'm like, oh, oils. I go get my black pepper and a few of the others, helichrysum. I can't remember what they are, but yeah, helichrysum and a couple of the others and it clears up instantly. So absolutely amazing. The other thing black pepper is really good for, I'm a personal trainer and I work with mums with a lot of babies, I specialise in mums and bubs. Um, so that with that comes the teething issues and the sore teeth. So really nice to be able to offer a natural solution to mothers um, whether they're, they're sort of aware of natural solutions or not, it's really nice to give them another way to look at the world. And um, black pepper is one that's really good for toothache or teething. Um, I think most of the time you could use on guard or you could also use clove, but don't discount this little guy here because although it's a spice and it's quite spicy, but if you, it's an anti, um, anti-inflammatory and anti, like it numbs, it'll numb the whole side of your face. So be really careful. It's really powerful. I remember when my children were going through the teething um, and it was before I got into doTERRA, I was using other essential oils. Um, just really interesting to me as well. Like I was brought up with essential oils and I kind of lost my way there for a little bit but have come back to it and how even though I'd been brought up with it and my mum bought me over clove oil to use on the kids, I thought, oh, I better try a little bit first. Um, so I put a little bit on my gums and like, wow, a tiny little bit. And it just like literally, I couldn't feel my face. <laughs> so be really careful and use it sparingly. Always dilute it with the children um, with coconut oil. But yeah, black pepper, beautiful. And oil of unmasking. Yeah, I love it. The other good thing about black pepper is it supports your endocrine system, which is basically your hormone system. So whatever way that you could use it to support, like I diffuse it as well. Like the three main ways to use the oils are obviously diffusing topically and ingesting. You can ingest black pepper. Like I said, usually you do that in your food, but it's really supportive and stimulates your endocrine system. So that's your hormone system. 
And because of sort of what's been going on out there, a lot of us are experiencing um, health issues that come from either our gut or, well, it comes from our gut, then your hormone system gets out and all sorts of things go um, terribly wrong and then you can't pinpoint what's going on because it's just not one thing. It's like a cascade effect of lots of different things. So, you know, my belief is if you can really support your gut health, like for yourself and your family, um, and, and learn as much as that you're interested in, the gut health, um, which will then travel onto the hormone. Oh, it's all intertwined. But if we can support your endocrine system or your hormone system, your gut health, get really good sleep, have a support network and a support system, which is, you know, what doTERRA is so, so about. You know, the oils are there for us to use emotionally, physically. Um, but, yeah, this support network is like no other that I've met. So always just remember that we're here to support each other we're here to help each other if you have any questions reach out to other people in your team upline downline crossline whoever you connect with and who you have those bonds with um and keep sharing too because as much as all of us use these essential oils they're so versatile and they do so much and i find we all seem to so well i suppose i can speak for myself i get into a bit of rhythms and routines in using them, but I love hearing what other people do. And I go, oh, I haven't thought of using, you know, black pepper as to increase my cellular, ox you know, oxidation because I use peppermint for that to increase, um, like before I do a workout at the gym, that's so funny because I've got so many of the bodybuilders on, it increases gaseous exchange, which means oxygenates your blood. So we go to gym and all smell beautiful of peppermint. But, yeah, now I can say, yeah, use a bit of a black pepper. And a side note as well, rosemary, I didn't know this, and I know I'm not talking about rosemary tonight, but it increases vascular pump. So for all you bodybuilders out there, you put it on and it's, it's incredible. Instant, topically not diluted, boom. <laughs> really interesting. A little bit of a tidbit for you. Um, yeah, so that's bergamot. That's black pepper. I would love to thank you all for having me here tonight. And... Um, is there any, I'm going to stop the video now, but stay online and I'll take any questions. So just going to pause.